All right, I finally get to see that one movie about the big AI and the superheroes that fight. Honest, I feel like I'm the last reviewer to see this movie, I swear to God. Oh, I bring it to you with sincerity. That's what matters, right? Avengers Age of Ultron. So Avengers Age of Ultron is the second Avengers movie in the closing chapter in what we call Marvel Phase 2. And in this movie, Ultron's an AI that gets created by Tony Stark and he's like, you know, I think I'm just gonna screw the human race. Because that's what an AI is going to do in a movie like this. What do you think is gonna happen? And now only the Avengers can stop him. But on a more monumental note, the Avengers have a lot to live up to in this movie. I'm not gonna lie to you, for the first, I would say, third of this movie, I was entertained, but I felt like... I've seen it before. And it's a really hard thing these Avengers movies are going to have to overcome is the fact that the Avengers happened. We saw it happen. And half the greatness of it happening was it happening. All the Avengers in one movie, there was a time that was just impossible. Now it happened. But that was three years ago. Now you can't rely on that novelty. Now we have to step it up. We have to see something great. And the Avengers were doing cool things, but I was like, I've seen it before. Then there was a really cool throwdown between Hulk Buster and Hulk, but I was like, they're wrecking a city? I've seen that before. In Spades. Before the crucifixion happens in the comments section, watch the video till the end. But even among feeling like that, first credit goes to James Spader as Ultron. This is a sweet villain. With a couple of exceptions, I felt like the villains in Marvel Phase 2 paled in comparison to the villains in Marvel Phase 1. Ultron though, man, if you're gonna close the chapter of Phase 2, you close it with a bang. This villain, he's evil, he has Raymond Reddington's vernacular and general persona. So the stakes were high in Age of Ultron, Ultron makes you feel like the stakes are high. It's just all bad news all around. What Ultron's going to do, and you need that in a movie like this. Then it happens, something happens in this movie where you're like, or this is the coolest thing that's happened yet. And it flips the entire mood of the movie to being a deeper movie with deeper character development. But then it holds that deeper character tone all the way to the end of the movie. And it was great. It was exactly what the movie needed. One of the fears I had for Age of Ultron was the fact that they're introducing new people. You got Scarlet Witch, you got Quicksilver, you got one other... You know he's in the movie, right? You know Vision's in it? There's been an official Vision poster, so I feel like it's not a spoiler. I'm just, all right, Vision's here. I was really freaked out about Vision, but they did Vision really, really well. Better than I could have thought they could have done Vision. So I mean, right there, I was like, oh, thank God. Honestly though, the last half of this movie, the stakes are high. You cannot let Ultron win. I like it when a movie's like, okay, we cannot let Ultron do that thing. We are going to hold the line. We will hold the line. And then boom, the clash happens and you're just thoroughly entertained. Age of Ultron could have been an easy movie to make. Even in the first third of the movie where I was like, yeah, it's entertaining. I feel like I've seen it before. I was still enjoying it in that popcorn fluff kind of way because it's just easy easy to make an Avengers movie at this point. We're all so on board with the Marvel Cinematic Universe that we're at least gonna walk out going, oh, I did enjoy it. But at a point when the movie focuses up and stops feeling like they're setting up for the next Marvel movies coming out, and they go deeper with the characters, deeper with the conflicts, deeper with the emotion, honest to God, by the end of this movie, there are two or three scenes where I was like, tearing up. I was like, oh my God, this is hitting me where I live, man. I didn't expect that from Age of Ultron. Usually a movie doesn't wow me throughout where I'm willing to be like, okay, that first part, we're gonna go ahead and chalk that up to growing pains. But this movie did it. It's great to see the crew back. I welcome the new crew with open arms. I'm going to be completely predictable right now because I'm not an idiot. I know this is going to be a predictable thing. But given a lot of thought, there's no other way to say it. Avengers Age of Ultron is awesome-tacular. <laughs> You know why I unapologetically give it that rating? It's because of this. Because I loved this movie. And you should never apologize for loving something worth loving. All right, so Avengers Age of Ultron, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.